Yo guys, what is good? It's your boy John Wong here, back again with another video. And today, we got another W that I got on Sneakers Shock Drop. So before I start this video, I just wanted to put it out there that over the last couple of months, Sneakers has just been blessing me with a bunch of W's for some reason. Now this never happens. I can tell you that over the last two years, I probably only got a W on like, like three shoes, which is not a lot considering, you know, sneakers and how many releases that they have. But for the last month, I was able to get W's on a bunch of hype colorways. And I, yeah, especially like the reimagined white cement threes. I was so happy that I could own those. But I'm pretty sure this video does come out after my review of the Jordan Thunder 4. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I got another W on the sneakers app with that over exclusive access and today i'm going over a pair of shoes that i got a w on on the shock drop so i did get the w on this pair of shoes two days before i got the jordan thunder fours but i decided to do a review on those first just because they did release last week from the time that you're watching this so i wanted to save this for later because i know that this is releasing Probably the same week as you guys are watching this, but enough of me talking. Let me open the box and I'll talk more about the shoe. All right. So I'm actually so excited to open up this pair just because I've never seen what these look like in hand. Here you guys can see we do have a red and black Nike box. And if you guys know sneakers well enough, you do know that this is the box of a Jordan 1. As expected. All right. And in three, two, one. Oh man, this is such a fit. And then three, two, one. Bro, this wrap is literally like, I kind of ripped the paper, but wh wh whatever. Three, two, one. Yes as you guys can see woo, we do have the jordan one spider-mans from the across the spider-verse movie oh man these look so fire all right i'm gonna talk a little bit more about the shoe in a bit but let me just kind of look at the shoe first because look this is these are pretty nice i'm not gonna lie wait hold up why are these shoes actually so fire? Now, fortunately, I'm not gonna be keeping these because I did tell myself from the jump that I don't need another pair of Spider-Man Jordan 1s just because I already have my grills right here. But guys, this pair, this pair is crazy. Now, when pictures of this shoe first surfaced on social media, a lot of people were definitely clowning on this shoe. People were saying that these are ugly, these are not it. The original Spider-Man ones are a lot nicer. I still think a lot of people agree with that statement to this day. But now that we finally get this in hand and we see what the shoe actually looks like, I think a lot of people have kind of changed their mind about the shoe. Although this is not as nice as the original release, this is actually pretty fire. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, this Jordan 1 is actually pretty special just because it's inspired by the Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse movie that's coming out in June. And a lot of people love Spider-Man, so you already know that this shoe is gonna be pretty popular. Now, back in 2018 with the first Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movie, we did see a pair of the origin stories released in homage to the movie and they did mimic the Chicago colorway with the icy bottoms. Obviously these are not as icy anymore, but a lot of people went crazy over these. I still think these are really underrated in comparison to you know other Jordan 1 collabs or special Jordan 1s, but this is definitely my favorite shoe of all time. So as you guys can see, this is a closer look of the shoe as I always do on this channel. And man, this shoe looks super fire. Uh. So in taking a closer look at the shoe itself, let's start off with the toe box. First, this is your typical classic Chicago one toe box with the standard leather. Now there is a whole bunch of stuff going on in the shoe. So we're gonna go, you know, we're gonna go by each detail 
piece by piece. So above the Chicago leather mudguard, we do have your standard Jordan 1 perforation holes. The leather on this is actually pretty firm and I think, I think it's just much more thick than your average Jordan 1 leather. I don't think that this means it's cheap. I don't think it means that it's premium, but I do think that it's very different from other Jordan 1s that we have seen. Moving on to the tongue area, this is a much more sale off-white tone. And actually the tongue is a lot more thick. It's not as thin as your other Jordan 1s, so that's a big difference as well. And then we also see the Nike Air logo, but unlike other Jordan ones where it just has this red tab on the bottom you see this white tab that's also with the stitching as well so that's a little strange I don't know why it's there but that's just different from other Jordan ones like I said now this pair also comes with standard black laces unlike the origin story ones that came with red laces I don't think that this shoe comes with any additional laces which it's kind of a bummer I kind of wish that they did come with you know maybe red laces or even white laces would have done well now as you guys can see the construction of this sneaker is made up with a bunch of different materials that is just going on a bunch of different patterns and i'll get to them in a bit but like i said before we do have that chicago leather this is probably the most classic thing about the sneaker itself and I do think it's intentional. And then as we move up, we see a suede material, which is super soft. Going over, we have another print material that's kind of more, more so new buck instead. Now, I don't really know what pattern Nike was trying to go for here, but it looks more like a shadowy vintage like print design. So I think that's pretty cool. And then moving above, we have the patent leather, which is a lot more glossy. As you guys can see, the light is reflecting off of it. And then moving on top, we have that pattern that matches the theme of the spider-man spider-verse movies and i think that's so cool it kind of mimics that 3d design that um the movies have then moving up we have a little more of that shadowy pattern as we see right here i still don't really know what the intent behind that was if you guys know what this design is let me know in the comment down below and then moving on top this is more of a comic book design with a bunch of little circles as you guys can see i think this is pretty cool and then we have the wings logo which is printed with this pretty glossy material and then finally behind it we have again that um spider verse multiverse kind of uh patterning and design yeah i think this is what really makes the shoe unique not a lot of people like it obviously because it's kind of loud you have colors of yellow blue and red running all over the shoe but i think i think it's kind of a subtle loud i don't think that it really kills the shoe to be honest and then moving over to the swoosh i believe it's made with patent leather but you can kind of see that it's kind of holographic is you, you see a little bit of color as you move the shoe and i think that's really nice as well i think this is definitely intentional for the sake of keeping that multiverse themed in the spider-verse movie and finally moving over to the soles of the shoe this is one thing i didn't realize that was a detail about the shoe but instead of a matte red finish we do have actually a translucent material and it's so nice it's pretty icy as you guys can see and i've also heard this was glow in the dark I haven't tested it out yet, but maybe I'll go into a dark room and I'll show you guys. As you guys saw before when I was unboxing the shoe, one thing that was different about you know this particular Jordan 1 from others is that when I opened this shoe, it was really hard for me to get the shoe out and that's because they were individually wrapped. So I don't know why they decided to do it this time, Probably because this shoe is made with a whole bunch of different materials So I guess they wouldn't really want them to like rub against each other between the pairs But yeah, these shoes look so nice. I feel like Nike absolutely killed it with this one I know a lot of people still don't think that they're amazing I know a lot of people think that the origin stories are a lot nicer But nonetheless, I am a huge fan of spider-man as you guys know for those of you guys who've been watching my channel for a while now You know that I am a die-hard spider-man fan. I've been watching watching spider-man spider-man has been my hero since i was like two three years old <laughs> as you guys can see i even have like the kip spider-man t-shirts and i'm a, just a really big fan so just to see the shoe release i definitely think a lot of people a lot of spider-man fans are going to be going after them in a couple of years even though they might be sleeping on them now people are going to realize that this shoe is one of a kind and it's super fire so i do anticipate the sneaker you know in two to three years going for like maybe like 500 bucks 
I'm calling it right now. Now, for those of you guys who are trying to cop this on general release day, they are releasing on May 20th for a retail price of $200. Now, typically Jordan 1s do retail for a price of $180. At first, I was kind of like not really understanding why they were a lot more expensive. But now that I hold these in my hand, I see that there's different premium materials just made throughout the shoe. So I can understand why the price is a little bit more expensive just because the construction of the shoe is a lot more complex. There's definitely a lot going on with this shoe right here. And I think that Nike did a good job, like I said before. I think in feeling the shoe out, I just noticed that there's just a lot more padding, especially in the ankle area here. I don't know why, like I feel that unlike my other Jordan ones, this just feels a lot more plush. I don't think that means that they're more comfortable, but for some reason that this shoe is just a lot more thick. As for sizing, I do encourage you guys to go true to size as you would with any other Jordan ones. So that's pretty much all I got to say today, but here we have it. The Spider-Man Jordan 1s from the Across the Spider-Verse movie. I'm so excited for the movie and I know that this shoe is definitely going to live up to its hype in the future. If you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to hear more from me, smash the subscribe button because more will be on the way. Now I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you think about the Spider-Man Jordan 1s? Did Nike do this justice? Are these shoes trash? Did this video change your mind about the shoe? Let me know down below. And with that being said, these are the Spider-Man Jordan 1s. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!